The ICAP Q is finding itself a home in many food safety laboratories throughout the world. And this is very critical. If you think about some of the scares we've seen in the media over the last few years, for example, you may remember Dr. Oz on television telling us about the problems we might have with the potential toxic arsenic in apple juice. Now it turned out not to be a serious issue, but in order to determine that, it wasn't enough just to measure the total arsenic in apple juice or any beverage that you might consume, but you have to determine whether the arsenic that's present is toxic or not. And arsenic has many different species that are not toxic, but it's the inorganic forms of arsenic that we need to be careful about. In order to determine whether or not you have toxic arsenic in a sample, you have to determine what species are present. And the way to do that is to separate those on an analytical column. Now, we have a unique advantage at Thermo Scientific because we have the ability to put ion chromatography systems on the front end. So we can put our Thermo Scientific Dynex ICS 5000 on the front end of our ICAP QICPMS system and it becomes one holistic system. The software that drives the ICPMS has got our Chameleon data system built in, and that drives the IC, or indeed an LC or a GC. And so you've got one system that the analyst needs to operate. So they just load up the autosampler on the IC, it'll separate out the arsenic species very efficiently, and then the eluent will go straight into the ICPMS, and then we can separate the arsenic-3 from the arsenic-5, from the arsenobetaine, from the arsenocholine, etc. And so we can very quickly determine if we actually have a toxic level of, of inorganic arsenic in a sample or not. And thankfully, in the case of apple juice, it's turned out not to be a major issue. Although there have been other issues in food with relating to arsenic, and one of them is the problem we have with imports of brown rice syrup and finding very high levels of arsenic in that sample. And ICPMS coupled with ion chromatography, again, was the best way to determine if that was a major issue or not. And indeed, and unfortunately, it was in many cases. Now, there's many other examples. You may have seen the movie Erin Brockovich that's all about the toxicity from chromium in drinking water. Now, chromium, most of the time, is inert. But if there's chromium in its plus six oxidation state present in drinking water, that's highly carcinogenic. And so you need to use trace element speciation to determine what form of chromium you actually have in your drinking water. And so again, in that instance, the uh, ion chromatography systems that we offer can be coupled to the ICPMS and you just run your sample straight through the IC and we can separate out the species and determine whether you've got chrome 3 or chrome 6 in your drinking water and the exact level that it's present at. So all of this makes the, uh, the ICAPQ the ideal tool for food safety analysis. To learn more about the ICAPQ system, go to www.thermoscientific.com forward slash ICAPQ.